Hello everyone, this is Nick Nevin, the Witch of Seekla, and I wanted to give you a reading um, for the solar eclipse going on tomorrow. So I spread out, I shuffled and spread some cards, and then I took um, this little sun and moon deck because I thought it was appropriate. Tomorrow's a new moon, but it's uh, also the solar eclipse. So. A lot of people express at this time that um, we haven't seen a solar eclipse in 98 years or 99 years, so it's supposed to be a big planetary event, and so it should have some uh, influence over our lives, um, and so it's supposed to be a really exciting time. Let's see what these cards are about, though. So first up here, I have the Three of Swords. So this leads me to believe that many people uh, have been struggling with loss and disappointment. And this is an entrance card. So it's the place where we're at now. A lot of people are feeling unfulfilled. They feel disappointed. And maybe what's been happening to them, maybe, maybe it could be love because there's a love card up here. Um, but maybe it could just mean disappointment in how things are going in general. But we'll get back to that with the more cards I have here to pull out. But there's a sense of overwhelm, disappointment. Now the base cards we have here, the three here are the Seven of Swords the Hermit and the Four of Wands. So this is our base situation, this is our more higher spirituality, what perhaps we're looking for or moving towards. But this is where things are at now. Disappointment. This is a little troubling here, the Seven of Swords is, um, this could be you or it could be your environment or people surrounding you. Um, it's a, a, a card of trying to get away with things. Maybe people surrounding you are disappointing you and they're trying to get away with things. And it's leading you to become more secluded, alone. You're not trusting people because they're hurting you deeply. They're disappointing you. They say one thing and do another. But this could also be yourself. Hurting yourself by your own actions. I mean, this person is taking the sword, sword into their mouth. So this could be that they, you know, you as a person may be self-sabotage. Maybe you're always getting hurt because somehow you have a negative belief system that causes you to self-sabotage and so then you're feeling alone. And now I feel the general mood here. I mean, most people want companionship. Most people want a nice home. They want to feel comfortable. They want wealth security. This is a card about security and this real need of most people right now to feel more content. Uh, not, you know, I get this feeling that everybody feels like I'm working so hard, I'm struggling so hard, but all I ever wind up is alone, disappointed, and feeling the own poison, um, maybe perhaps from my own belief system. Perhaps it's other people, but perhaps it's your own belief system believing the negatives that you have been fed over your life, that you're not good enough, you're not worthy of, happy, of happiness, of having wealth, of having security, of having a home. Now, your higher aspects here for this, um, this period of this solar eclipse and new moon means that the higher spirituality, this is what you're uh, driving for. Yes, everybody wants security, everybody wants love and happiness. And I think that's what this card is representing here. 
most people desire stability, to be in charge of their own domain, the emperor. Um, they want to feel at home and safe with the people they care about, their friends, their family. They want to feel that people are on their side and they want just happiness and joy. So this is the higher aspects here. But what is the exit card here? It's about worry and upset and being influenced also, if you can see the moon is influencing the head here. The moon is um, sending energy to the head. So this could also mean that at this point in your life, you're allowing worry and negativity to overcome you. You're not in control of your own domain. You're not feeling secure with people and you're not having the happy relationship and so you come to disappointment. But let's just see what the other cards say. All right, so the first one about the disappointment card here. We have the two of wands ruin the, um, the ten of swords and debauch, which is a seven of cups. Okay, so maybe, maybe this is talking about your mind. Seven of Cups is about having a lot of options, but maybe there's too much options that you get overwhelmed. In wanting it all, um, in trying to do all, you render yourself useless because it's too overwhelming. You want too much, you do too much, then you get overwhelmed, then what happens? The Ten of Swords. You come to a place of severe burden, severe disappointment and upset. So here we have the Two of Wands, Dominion. This is about a need to be in control of your own self of your own domain. Guard your mind. Guard your mind from these negative and self-fulfilling prophecies, from the negativity you even feed yourself. So this new moon is bringing in energy, I feel, that can help you to see what you're doing regarding love is you are creating negatives so that you're not attaining this love because you are self-sabotaging. We'll take out the three more cards here though. So this is truce. Needing a break from the constant worry and anxiety and the self-sabotage. Power. Four pentacles. You need some stability in your life right now. And the nine of pentacles gain. So in order to gain, you have to get balance. You have to get balance over the mind. I think that's really definite in these cards right now. Take control, take charge of your mind. Now over the hermit here, I have um, the star, but it was reversed. Which the star is a great card, upright or reversed. It just means reversed that it's gonna take some time to feel your power again. You need to take time. It's gonna be a little bit slow coming, but it's coming. Um, we have the Princess of Swords. So you are very dynamic. You have the strength to keep going, even though perhaps you don't want to keep going anymore. And we have the King of Cups. So the way in order to bring strength back, to bring independence back, to bring the star back, your star qualities, to bring love in your life, is to do it with love. Because we have the King of Cups, which is the King, his dominion, his dominion is over love and emotions. So I feel it's a lot about gaining your strength over your emotions at this time. So you don't feel lost and alone anymore. Don't, even if you are alone, don't go there. Feel your strength in being independent. If you're alone, feel your independence and how good it is to be alone and strong and taking care of yourself. 
and do things now for yourself with love and you will find gain, you will find happiness, you will, you know, weed your own mind with the good fertilizer of love and kindness to yourself right now. And the three other cards here for this card of security and home and good communication between people. Okay, so there's interference. There's something going on. There's interference here with the Eight of Swords. So, um, and we have change going on. So, with this solar and eclipse on the new moon, means there's lots of radical change happening, which causes people to feel worried, to feel insecure. Um, to feel alone. So it, it's kind of, you know, a difficult time. Um, but we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Well, so I feel this change coming with the solar eclipse. Um, perhaps this eclipse is gonna, going to interfere and pour energy to create the change so that you can um, have this stable home, so that you can have increase in your life. Very, very interesting reading. And up here on the love card, we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have um, the Four of Cups. And we have the Ace of Cups. So I feel, you know, your desires, you can have what you want. If you're not married, you can have marriage. If you're not in a love relationship, you can have love. Um, if it's wealth you want, that's what you can have with luxury. But the Queen of Pentacles is here to say, we are in an earth sign, so you have to take things slow. You have to gain balance in your life. You can't just go around um, thinking that um, if you keep going about um, playing the old negative tapes in your mind that you're going to have happiness. No, you're just going to create more of the same. You're going to create, um, you know, this is you. You're eating your own swords, your, your sword, you're eating your own words. You are self-sabotaging. So in order to get this place, the place of love, the place of luxury, you have to stop this. And then over the um, Six of Cups, Six of Cups is also about home and family and past childhood memories, things of that nature. So I have three cards here for that. And we have um, the Ten of Cups reversed, okay? So it's attainable. It's the same card as this one. These are the same. But it's reversed here, saying what you desire is attainable, but it's going to take slow and steady effort of the Queen of Pentacles of that earthy nature. You have to have balance. You have to stop spinning your wheels, the Seven of Swords, futility. Stop spinning your wheels. Stop overanalyzing. Stop overthinking everything. Get in touch with your spirituality, the Hierophant. Get in touch with deeper, higher spirituality at this time so you can gain control over your domain, over your life. And there, yes, there is still going to be worry here. So let's see what the Emperor has to say. The Emperor is talking about, okay, the Emperor with the High Priestess. So taking charge of your domain, um, we have the chariot in a very the chariot is about movement but in a very steady manner as well uh, and we have here the queen of swords so again being independent but what are we doing here with the high priestess the high priestess is all about mystery okay behind the veil behind the scenes so this is speaking to me of a need to take charge in a new and different way. So, the old way, the way that just caused you to feel un in balance and disappointed and, you know, replaying the same old themes in your life, 
the high priestess says, look deeper. There are better ways to go about achieving what you desire. And don't give up. Just because something didn't work doesn't mean it's not meant to be. You know, everybody says that these days. Oh, it didn't work out. It wasn't meant to be. Bullshit. Keep going. Sometimes you have to adjust and revisit situations to get what you desire. And the high priestess is calling for this. Look within. Go deeper. What you want is attainable. What you want is attainable. Listen to these words. Stop spinning your wheels. Adjust. Make small adjustments and achieve balance. Now, it could also take the form of magical work, you know, doing spells. I, you know, I do that kind of thing. Taking control by using your spirituality because um, the Hierophant was here somewhere. I don't know where it went. So, you know, um, spirituality, here it is, the Hierophant here. Spirituality, using spiritual methods to attain. You know, maybe the old way is not the way. Maybe you need to find, look deeper, get spiritual, find a new method to get dominion over your life. And um, this worry card here, we're being influenced now by uh, the moon and the sun, the planetary alignments. We're being influenced in the head. And in what way? Okay, six of swords. To maybe um, persuade us to move forward away from the way we used to be, uh, away from the self-sabotage, move forward in a different way, in a different form. Two of swords, again, this is a card of peace, of balance. So you want to get back to a balanced state. And the King of Swords means, okay, the King of Swords is a card of action. You need to take action now. So like I was talking about, maybe you need to take spiritual action. Maybe you need to, you know, spiritually align and adjust your mind and spirit and body together. Maybe you need to take care of your body. Maybe you need to take care of your mind, your soul. Maybe you need spell work. Maybe you need to just go to church or do whatever you do. But you need to take action. The swords are action cards. You need to take action. You can't sit around anymore crying that your life is no good, that you never can meet someone. self-fulfilling prophecies are going on. The same old played out, worn out tapes are going on. So the King of Swords is saying take charge at this time. And the planets that are aligning at this time, they're feeding your head. You know, this planetary movement, this change in energy is maybe knocking you off balance so that you can find balance. Maybe it's going to knock you off your socks so you actually do something about your situation once and for all. And the King of Swords tells me to take action, to do it now. So I hope this message had meaning for you and I will see you soon. Um, I have some spell work coming up. I have conjured spirits. I have uh, um, readings, everything on my website, which is uh, thewitchofseacliff.blogspot.com. You can always email me with um, questions or requests at nicknevintarot at gmail.com. Have a great evening and have a great solar uh, eclipse tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.